start the game. Texas. Let's see what he can do with the return. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Quarterback on the keeper. And he finds enough running room, and he's marked down at the 20. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just to make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the back. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. Looking to throw, it's Hennigan. Swings it out to the flat. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. So we're scoreless. Their first drive of the game, and this coach is wasting no time taking a gamble by going for it on fourth down in his own territory. And that one falls incomplete. A huge stand by the defense. There are analytics out there in college football that say maybe you can go for that at that point of the field here in the first half. It's still early. If you don't get it, you can come back later in the game, make it up, score some more points, and. That mistake will be erased. The problem is right now at this juncture of the game, that was a big time error. The fact that you didn't get that, you're now gifting your opponent points. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the footballs running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get on the ground. You want many guys swarming with the football, trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. And that ball is picked off. He'll try to take it back. The 50. The 40. Past the 30. At the 20. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Memphis. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. And the returner goes down. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do. Now, Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. Trying to take it back. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down. They can be in position. But they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turn. The 
The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Timeout. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. That's caught. It's Doyle. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. It's always fun to watch offensive creativity in the red zone. Like, how are you going to get some space for your guy? They try to toss, get him out wide, maybe get him some space. The defense was broke. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. Line is set on third down. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Quick strike complete. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Makes the score. Memphis. 14. Texas. Kickoff Zero. team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Set to kick this one away. Texas. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Texas offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. If you go down and score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Looking to throw at Ewers gets it out quickly. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Took a shot as he threw. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. I like the offensive idea here to try to change the launch point of the QB, but you got to do a better job protecting him because guys can't complete passes when they're getting hit. Grabbed in the middle. It's Golden. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. On second down, they'll take to the air. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment. They've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. From the gun, wants to pass. He makes a catch. Got a lot of running room. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. 
DBs locked up tight on the receivers. Mm. Trying to pound it in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. And they've moved closer and closer, and still they need two yards, third and goal. On the option. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. So the offense will try to punch it in here on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run the option. He stopped. Fourth and goal, and he lost a yard back to the two. Yeah, and he calls his own number, tries to go get the first down, but he just couldn't get to it. Nice job by the defense, locking in, not letting him get that extra couple yards that he needed to get the big first down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. From his end zone, needs to be careful here. Complete downfield. Oh, look out. The 30. Running inside the 20. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Tiger. And how about the offense being aggressive, willing to drop your quarterback into the end zone. If he gets tackled, it's a safety, gets the ball out, and the receiver does the rest. 98 yards to the house. What an explosive play. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it in halftime, too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game, and it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half. And it's a fake, and the kicker's going to throw it. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Still just a two-possession game. A lot of time to go as they try for the onside kick here. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. We're only in the first half, and I don't think anybody had onside kick in the second quarter on their bingo card. They were trying to catch the opponent off guard, but it didn't work. Now let's find out what this offense can do. You've got to make them pay for gambling. Pocket starts to collapse. The pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback checking off. Back to throw. It's Hennigan. He's got an open man. Across the 25, he's got room. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense.
looking to throw. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense, spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. No reason to risk trying to field that one as it skips through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Down. Here comes this offense. He's looking to throw it. Got it behind the line. It's Baxter. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Nice job by the QB and receiver on this play in a two minute situation, knowing to work the boundary, get the first down, and get the ball out of bounds. Great situational awareness. On second down, wants to throw it. Going up top. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Well, you wonder if the defense has started to figure it out finally here. In the first half, this guy has been absolutely lighting you up, and finally they get some bodies back there anticipating the QB to look his way to force an incompletion. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They'll go to the air on third and short. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Memphis about to boot it away to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive, Reese. Like, this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover, guys. I'm a... And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The Longhorns will hustle to the line. Well, this defense has a three-possession lead at this point. You're seeing how dominant they are up front. They have done such a good job recruiting. And they got him. A sack denies to try to convert on fourth down. There's not many play calls on the sheet to score a bunch of points really quickly. So you got to go for it here. I, I like the aggressiveness, but this offense continues to miss the mark. And they just got to score more points. They got to do better, right, Paul? That's expert analysis. They got to do better. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. I haven't seen a lot of balls falling complete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. Tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. On third and long, try to convert through the air. That pass not close as he got Will trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. Texas. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Oh, and the ball's out on the return. 
It's recovered by the kicking team, and they get the ball right back. Very rarely do you have a play on defense where you've got 30 yards head of steam built up to come make a collision. On kickoff and kickoff return, you do. And a lot of times, you see big sticks and fumbles happen as a result. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Yeah, and this defense hadn't had a lot of success. This offense has been doing what it wants at will. Finally getting to the QB, finally getting some pressure, finally getting a big hit on him. Touchdown, Memphis! And the route is on. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Let's everybody live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. That ball skips through the end zone. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 25-yard line. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. And they try in the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. He's going for a big play downfield. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. The Longhorns headed quickly to the line. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, the loose ball recovered by the offense, but they don't have... 